Hi everyone, it's Tammy, and thank you for being a member of the Card Club, if you are. And if you aren't, well, I hope that you think about joining next month. But for you members that are the Card Club, you can get out your card number one, because we are going to be making the first of three of our Beautiful You card series. And I am super excited about this series, just because I love all of them. I didn't even know which one to start with, because there's so many ideas in my head. But we're going to start with a rather, I'm going to say simple one. And we are going to use the little girl with the umbrella. And I am going to use my watercolor pencils and I'm also going to use my aqua painter. And I'm thinking I want to use wishing you brighter days to come. So that's kind of a nice little, if somebody's feeling down, this might be a nice card to send to them. I suppose it could even be used as a sympathy card. I'm not very good at making sympathy cards. I don't know. They just kind of make me feel yuck. So this might be something that I would give as a sympathy card. I try to make some and then I look back when I need one and I'm like, okay, I can use this one. But I'm kind of weird about it just because I am. So let's see, I think I want to use Tip Top Taupe. I'm going to be using this for another card too, I believe. But I'm going to cut this at five and a half just to make it a standard A2 size card. And I'm going to score it at four and a quarter. And this is our Stampin' Trimmer and it is fabulous. It has the score and the cutter blade all at once, so it's great. And I also am going to be using a piece of watercolor paper that I have already made to fit inside the card. And this is um, four by five and a quarter. And as I'm doing this, I'm kind of wondering if I shouldn't make it a little bigger or a little smaller. I don't think so. I think I'm good. Okay. Talked myself out of it. Now for this, you do want to use archival ink or something that will definitely stay on while you watercolor. And um, that would be stays on ink, or you could use the memento ink, or you could use our archival ink. If you use our archival ink, you need to make sure that you let it dry completely before you uh, stamp on it or color on it. And I am just going to put this little girl right in the middle. Now when you are using watercolor paper, there are two sides. There's a, there's a side that's a little smoother and then there's a side that's a little rougher. You want to use the rougher side. And you're going to need, I sometimes like to use my Misty on this because you're going to need to really give it a good stamp. And sometimes it's nice to have the Misty just to be able to stamp right again where it was if you need to. That is not a Stampin' Up! tool though. Oh, it looks fabulous. Yay. And I'm also using my Stampin' Scrub over here because I can't live without it. I love this. It just really makes everything so much easier. And this stamp set I think is awesome. It's a two-part stamp set and it really is beautiful. And I'm going to put this on here too before I watercolor. So I'm just going to make sure that I have it wishing you brighter days. Now I had thought about this and I was kind of thinking I might do a rainbow pattern down, but honestly I don't have the Stampin' Up! colors and um, I don't know that the colors would come with a rainbow set and honest, and sometimes, I don't know, I, I feel like it's harder if you're trying to make a pattern. So what I think I'm going to do, and I guess I could look to see what colors are included in the watercolor set, but I'm, I'm okay without them. I am going to take just a few different colors and make it my own, and you can do the same with yours, whatever watercolor pencils you want to use. Um, 
And what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of scribble over this image lightly all the way down. And then I'm going to take my aqua painter and color over it. And you will see how magnificent that this is. So I'm just going to start with whatever color I feel. And I'm just going to lightly, I'm not going all the way to the edge just because I don't really want to. And I'm going to take a blue This stamp set is so cool because you can just do things like this with it. I think I'll take a pink. This might be like a lighter purple, I'm not sure exactly. Does it tell me? It's fuchsia. And then I'm going to take a red, I think. And there's even room for another color, so I think I'm going to finish it up with another color. And I might even, I might even go with this brown color, just because it kind of starts off darker and then kind of gets a little lighter. And I'm kind of thinking it's you know like brighter days. And then I'm going to take my Aqua Painter. This one has more water in it, so I'm going to use this one. And I'm going to squeeze it where it says push. And I'm going to get a little bit of the water up into here. And then you can see that it's starting to, I don't know if you can see, but it's shining on my finger where the water is coming out. And then I'm just going to take this. Isn't that phenomenal? Isn't that just absolutely phenomenal? Do you see that? It is just so cool to me. I love this. It's like embossing. And then I want the colors to come together. So I'm kind of making it so that they do. I mean, this is just going to be a simple card. I and mean, you can see how quick and easy this is. I need a little bit more water. I guess I kind of did the rainbow thing after all, even though I said I didn't know if I wanted to. Now, I'm going to take my pen and I'm going to just rub it on a piece of paper until it runs clear. And now I can do it again. I see some little spots over here that I kind of missed with the ink, how you can still see the pencil. And I don't really want any pencil-y going in, so I'm just going to kind of do it a little bit more. I want it to be pretty smooth and I like that the colors bleed into each other to me that looks good and that is all we have to do for this card isn't that fabulous and then I'm going to take my heat gun and I'm just going to heat it just so that I know that it's dry almost a little bit too formatted for me right here so I'm going to take this again and just kind of because I don't want the colors to be so yellow you know so uh, distinguished or so I don't know what the word is that I'm looking for I think you guys know what I'm talking about though I don't want I want them to bleed into each other so I'm just going to take this and take a little bit of this one yeah I like that better okay so now I'm going to dry it again and this is our heat tool I love this heat tool it has two settings low and then high And they're both good for whatever you need them to be good for. I mean, they 
It works beautifully for embossing. I like to use the high on embossing. And then I am just going to simply put my snail adhesive using my ATG gum. And then I just really like this tip top taupe color. I love it with water coloring. So I'm just going to put that right here. And that's the card. I just think it's simple and gorgeous and I hope that you guys like it too. So thank you guys very much for watching and thank you for joining my card club. And that's a card that is finished and beautiful. Thank you. I'll see you soon for the next one. Bye-bye.